It is 8.15 and we are leaving for the airport. We were supposed to leave at 8, but um, Cooper's sick and so I wanted to get everything prepared for him for when the dog sitter comes, all this medicine and everything. So that was a little crazy. Anyways, hopefully things aren't too hectic at the airport like it was this morning, but if so, we'll just deal with it as it comes, I guess. Okay, so we just got checked in and we checked both our bags in. We are gonna check our stroller in um, at the gate, but now we are heading to the elevator because we can't use the escalator anymore. It's heavy with, with the check bags. Tight squeeze, but we made it in. Past security and that was brutal. <laughs> I think we're gonna pay extra for TSA pre-check next time because we stood in line for like almost an hour. Yeah, and Kai was crying so I had to use my phone for the white noise. And then I went looking for my phone and couldn't find it. And Bob's like, um babe, it's playing the white noise. It's that kind of morning guys. I've had one hour of sleep <laughs> and I'm hot, but we're getting there to our gate. us just got to our rental car and we are driving to go get lunch with one of my best friends and um, I don't know I think I want to talk about what I thought about traveling with Kai um, I would say that it would be worth it to get the TSA pre-check because we waited in line for how long did we wait in line oh, it took us a while Waiting a long while, then going through security was all stuff, awful, and getting our bags checked, and yeah, so that part sucked. But honestly, once we got to our gate, I mean, he was a little fussy, but we just rocked his stroller, and then once we boarded, he um, he was a little fussy then too. He did amazing during takeoff. He didn't even fuss or anything, or during landing. I was nursing him though. So I'm sure well, that helps, of course. But um, after that, he just fell asleep the entire time. Um, I think another thing that helped was um, I found videos on YouTube that have white noise specifically that sound like an airplane. And so I had been having Kai listen to those for like two weeks during his nap times and um, before he goes to bed. So I think that helped him get used to what the sound was like. There was a really noisy kid behind us and he didn't even flinch. I'm actually so relieved because we have to go back home, obviously. And I was thinking that it would be really hard to travel with him. And so I was like, well, if the, if the trip here is really awful, we still have to go back home. So 
yeah, now I feel really like relief that it's really not that bad traveling with a, a baby who has colic and is super fussy. Is that the only thing you think? I thought we'd get more assistance as far as like priority screening, priority boarding. Um, yeah, that's right. I I thought that too because I watched priority check in, none of that. Yeah. We gotta check in after group A on Southwest. Now maybe American Delta does it differently, but we were basically B on Southwest. Yeah. With an infant. So, so by the time that we boarded, I wanna say that the plane was already half full, wasn't it? Yeah, all the A's went. Yeah. I mean, our flight was busy too because it was Christmas Eve, but still, I mean, I'm sure that it was a full flight. But yeah, I forgot about that. We, I thought, because I've watched different YouTube um, vlogs about traveling with an infant, and a lot of them, they got to go through security, like very, like, you know, I, we had to sit there and wait forever, and I was like getting panicky, and my anxiety was setting in because I was just thinking, oh my gosh, like, I hope... Kai does not get fussy because once he gets fussy, he is fussy for a long time and it's really hard to soothe him. And at that point, he was not fussy at all. So that's one thing I think they should work on is, I mean, I'm not trying to sound like I'm privileged or anything, but I just also don't want to bother anyone around us. You know, it's not even like that I think that or expect it or anything. It's just, I don't want to bother anyone around us. If we can just get through, like not has like hassle anyone and just get our stuff through, that would have been so much better. The only thing I add is you obviously only have two hands, so you got to get one of those carts. Yeah. Uh, with all the luggage. There's no way you can just take all that luggage, a stroller and everything. So I, I was watching the, the baggage and everything in the stroller and Bob went to go get the little cart thing. I felt like I was juggling everything, so I'm sitting here rocking the stroller and trying to prevent our luggage from falling over and everything because I didn't want to take up too much space because people kind of look at you like, oh my gosh, you're taking up all this room, you know? So yeah, it definitely was not as bad as I thought it would be. We're going back home. Yeah. Do you like flying on the plane? Do you like flying on the plane? 